confirms a growing trend in online trade. The data showed that between February 2020 and February 2021 alone, Ghana saw an increase of over 120% in the value of digital transactions compared to 44% for the period February 2019 to February 2020. Apart from the convenience online trading offers, the surge has happened globally was primarily due to the increase in the use of digital platforms as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Total value of transactions for 2020 was estimated to be over 500 billion Ghana cities compared to 78 billion cities in 2016, just five years ago. While total money um, subscribers and active mobile sub money users have grown by an average rate of 18% and 16% respectively between 20, 2016 and 2019. Mr. Speaker, it has become clear that, these, that there is this enormous potential to increase tax revenue by bringing into the tax bracket transactions that will be best defined as being undertaken in the informal economy. After considerable deliberation, government has decided to place a levy on all electronic transactions to widen the tax net and rope in, rope in the informal sector. This shall be known as the electronic transaction levy or e-levy. Electronic Elect Mr. Speaker, electronic transactions covering, mo covering mobile money payments. Mr. Speaker, Honourable Members, order, order. Electronic mobile money payments, bank transfers, merchant payments, and e remittances will be charged at an applicable rate of 1.75%, which shall be borne by the sender, except inward remittances, which will be borne by the recipient. Mr. Speaker, to safeguard efforts be made to enhance financial inclusion and protect the vulnerable, all transactions that add up to 100 Ghana cities or less per day which is approximately 3,000 Ghana cities per month, will be exempt from this levy. A portion of the proceeds from the e-levy will be used to support entrepreneurship, youth employment, cyber security, digital and road infrastructure, among others. Mr. Speaker, Tati Eyabakon, Yenina Bitya. This tax is one, and we shall all pay. Mr. Speaker, this new policy also comes into effect once appropriation is passed. On 1st January 2022, government will work with all industry partners to ensure that their systems and payment platforms are configured to implement this policy.